So what we have here is this wonderful setup where we can actually drive advection by a vector field. And the last thing I'd like to show you is how to add collisions. So how to actually have the advection flow around a given geometry. So first thing I'd like to do is stop this and uh, clean up the setup a bit. So let's just get rid of those nodes here. Pull that over. So again, we have the solver here and here our vector field with curl noise gets create it. And in order to have it flow around a given geometry, the first thing I'd like to create is that given geometry. Do that by just copying this platonic here, pasting it again. No, oh, that needs to get over here. Exactly. Highlight it. And what I want to set it to is uh, maybe an octahedron. Exactly. And increase its size a bit, maybe to two, and add to it a polywire. What that will do is create kind of sweep nerves around the edges and I'll increase the division size and also the segment size so that it gives us kind of this cleaner geometry and also increase the wire radius something like that let's see perfect so let's hide this and highlight our starting geometry so it will definitely have some geometry to intersect with so next thing I need to do is um, convert this geometry into a VDB. I'll do that with a VDB from polygons. Add that here, wire it up, highlight it. And I want to make it the same size as my main geometry, so 0.04. And I'm just going to copy this parameter, highlight and delete that here, and right click again and paste the relative reference. Something like that. Also, just to make sure that this um, surface is really closed, I'm going to add a re shape SDF node to it, set it to dilate, and dilate one voxel, something like that. One thing I'd like to make sure in the VDB from Polygons node is that the interior is filled and that I have some a bit more exterior band voxels so that the outside of the surface actually gets a bit more voxels with the content. The next thing is um, actually creating a volume that contains the vector field with the curl noise. Um, and we're gonna do that a bit differently than here, than what we did previously, by just creating a volume first. And as an input, we take these volume bounds here. So that creates a volume. Um, only thing we have to make sure again is that the volume size is identical or I want to have it identical. So I'm going to um, change the uniform sampling to by size. And again, go here, copy the parameter, um, go into my volume, delete that, right click on it and paste copied relative reference. So I have the same voxel size now. What I'm going to do with this volume is I'll add a volume bob, pipe that in here, and pipe the SDF surface in here. And before I head into the volume bob, I just want to make sure that my volume, when I drag that down, is a vector volume, because we want to store vectors, not only one value, but three per voxel. And we call it vel, and we're good to go. And dive into the volume bob. And in here, the only node we need is the curl noise node. And we can delete the density output because we want to bind export it to a vector, which is called vel for velocity. So this is my output. While that in here, I want to have the position from the current voxel position. And that looks pretty good for the beginning. Let's head again one level up. And now I want to bring in this SDF to collide with. Uh, the way I'm going to do that is this is the input where the SDF is coming in. I'm just going to wire that up in here and the curl noise should now flow around it. Um, the thing I'd like to increase is the surface effect radius. So this is um, kind of expanding the um, region around the area which should flow around a bit. So it's a, it has a stronger effect. And that's all that's happening in this node. That should be it. 
So what we can do now is instead of this part here, this construct here, just wire this into our solver, highlight the solver, and hit play. Let's see what we come up with. Let's hit stop here and have a look at the results of our simulation. And that does absolutely not look correct when you see here. It's just straight intersecting into the geometry. Same as happening around here. So there's something wrong. When we scroll through this, this is not this should not happen, definitely not. So what I actually um, forgot to do is I forgot to convert it to a VDB and merge those to a vector. So these two nodes here were important. So I should have piped that in here and then wire this up into the solver. But it looks like that. And I'm just gonna delete our previous fluid source. So this side is now yielding this vector field that should advect our volume. So let's zoom in a bit and run the simulation again. Okay, let's stop that and have a look at the simulation. And what we see here on the one hand, kind of the effect that we like to, um, it's flowing around this edge pretty, pretty well, but also it's kind of protruding in here and um, somewhat disregarding these areas here. So what's happening? The thing is when we head into the solver, what we do here in this volume warp where we build the uh, actual vector field is. Not only do we take into account this curl noise field that we built, which has already the noise flowing around the geometry, but we add it up with the gradient, that is with the current kind of surface normals of our voxel geometry. And um, those do not regard the, um, the um, collision geometry at the moment. So these can actually yield these results that the uh, um, advection is actually growing into the colliding geometry. But we can solve that by bringing in this collision geometry that we created directly into the solver. Uh, have that in on input three. Dive into the solver. Have input three here. And let's drag those down here and pipe this into the last input of our volume bob. Um, go into the volume bob and sample the uh, vector value on this uh, current position by a volume sample. The last input on the current position, like that. And what I'd like to get as a result from the calculation that we're about to build is a value which is either one when it's outside of the um, collision geometry or of zero when it's inside of the collision geometry. And as you know, um, an SDF works like it, it's, get, it's getting negative on the inside and staying positive on the outside. So what we're going to do is um, first we multiply um, the value with a constant, just with a really huge constant so that even small values just get really big and then clamp it. And clamping um, results in the value being between zero and one. So after we just multiply it by this huge number, let's add a few zeros here, um, and clamping it, we take care that it's either one or zero. Or another idea how we could tackle this problem would be with a round to integer. So that takes uh, any float value and rounds it just to, to a full number, to an integer number. Um, and then again, clamping it to between uh, zero and one. So these should yield both the same results. I think the more, more proper way, the, the correct way is the round to integer. Okay, now I have this value, which is either one on the outside or zero on the inside of the geometry. And all I have to do is um, multiply this value with um, this value that we get from the uh, gradient. So as soon as um, the gradient will intersect into the geometry, into the collision geometry, it will get to zero just by multiplying it by zero. Just gonna hook that up here. And that should be about it. Let's see if that worked. 
that does not look correct. So let's dive into the solver again. We bring in input two here, input three there. Sample number four, it's a primitive number. Let's just hook up this multiplication node instead of the round to integer. See how that works. Okay, let's stop this and have a look at it. Perfect, and now we see we're totally omitting these areas where um, our volume is intersecting into this collision geometry. So that is a way to have uh, the growth, the advection, take into account a given shape, a given collision geometry, and have it grow around that. Again, hope you had fun with this. Um, if you come up with any artwork, please show them. I'm um, really interested to see them. So have fun, cheers, and goodbye.